Hello one and all, it's me, My Hero Academia, Vigilantes, Chapter 82, High Speed Hero 2. And we open up with Koyuchi coming very, very close to flying. I mean, so, so close. I mean, he literally, you know, is able to catch Pop midair, and then slow his ascent enough to the point where he doesn't break his legs upon landing on the ground. I mean, he does shatter the ground, but still, very impressive. And this whole scene just looked really, really familiar. I just went back to the earlier chapters. Actually, all the way back to chapter two, and a very similar situation happened. I feel like this is a homage to it, a callback almost, where, you know, he flies there, even says, I just want to fly to save Pop as she's falling to her certain death. She uses him as a ledge to leap back, and then he almost falls to certain death, but manages to land in a pile of trash so he doesn't die. I mean, that's just a really great way of showing how far he's come from way back when, from the very first few chapters. I think it was really cool. I really like that. But then on the uh, not so good side, Koyuchi, you are not a smart person. And this guy literally walks up to you and says that he shot her with a drug that controls the bees. Why would he have a drug that controls the bees? And then he goes on this long rant and you're like, uh, yeah, but I'm trying to make a phone call. It takes you a very long time to realize that O'Clock 2 is a villain. Also, while I'm on the uh, subject, O'Clock 2 is the stupidest name I have ever heard in my entire life. Why not 2 o'clock? Why is he not calling himself 2 o'clock? That sounds so much better. It rolls off the tongue. It makes so much more sense. O'clock 2 is so freaking stupid. Please tell me it's like a translation thing and in Japanese, o'clock 2 sounds better, sounds cooler. Maybe it rhymes or something. I don't know. I just If this ever gets an anime, please, for love of God, change his name in the English dub, please. Anyway, so it turns out that uh, Pop was not actually shot with a bullet, but a b little baby syringe filled with uh, a drug that controls the bees, or more accurately, makes the bees go out of control so they will all blow up and kill themselves. Which is uh, fairly terrifying, though a very good method for uh, cleaning up the experiment, as he says, you know? You don't have to worry about any samples surviving, anything getting away, anything that can be traced back to him because everything just blows up. And at this point that we find out that O'Clock's entire purpose for doing all of this was just so that he can play hero, just so that people would think of him as a hero. I'm not sure what his plan was going to be if the crawler didn't show up to save her, because he definitely seems, you know, he needs to frame someone for all these crimes, so that, you know, he can be the legendary hero who stopped the big bad villain. But yeah, so he's a fanboy... Honestly, though, I probably should have seen this coming. This is basically what he said to Knuckle Duster when they fought way back when. He wanted to be the hero. He wanted to be the savior of the people. He wanted to be loved and adored, more or less. Uh, but I just wasn't expecting that to be his whole reason for teaming up with Pop. I thought, you know, he was in love with her. He wanted to be with her. He wanted her to be his partner. Yada, yada, yada. Nope. Just wanted her to be a sacrificial pawn. And honestly, I just really like this twist. A fanboy villain playing hero, trying to make people love him. That's not something we really see in this series. I mean, I guess Gentle kind of fits that category, but he wasn't really playing hero. He was just trying to amuse and entertain people, more or less. I guess he was a hero to La Brava, though. <laughs> but yeah, it makes so much sense in this society for someone, you know, to do these awful, horrible, terrible things just so they can become a hero, just so they can be loved by the people, you know? Get the, you know, get the endorsements, the merchandise, all that. You can make a lot of money if you're a hero. And I could certainly see a lot of people doing terribly awful things in this world to acquire that role. I'm honestly surprised it's something we haven't seen before. I mean, the closest I can really think of is Endeavor, who, you know, bought a woman and forcibly impregnated her multiple times. Oh, God, I hate him so much. So that his son could be the number one hero, but... But this does feel like something that should be more common in this world, given how much, you know, fame and money you can make being a hero. Very curious. Also, I do just really have to compliment him on his outfits. I know it's based off uh, the original Oak Clock, but he really does look like a hero in that. Even with that creepy villain smile and that scar across his face, he really does look like a hero. Which might be a pretty bad issue down the road, but I'll get to that. Anyway, then after he lets uh, Koochie escape a little bit, you know, cause some more damage instruction, make his uh, eventual defeats even more of a story, even more entertaining for the people, uh, he goes in for the uh, kill. He goes in to take him out, but he misses completely because, as it turns out, Koochie found a way to make himself go even faster. The extra oomph technique. And I do just absolutely love that uh, Rock refers to him as a cheater here. I mean, I find that funny for two reasons. First off, Rock, 
You are an engineered human being with a stolen quirk who literally set this entire stage and killed a whole bunch of people along the way. You were the very definition of a cheater. And the second reason is, because I've seen this a million times in anime, manga, whatever, where just when the hero is in need, he unlocks the exact right power, ability, skill, whatever, to save the day at the exact right moments. You know, like uh, Kuyuchi unlocking the extra oomph technique in order to escape this punch. Because you always see someone in the comments section be like, oh, how surprising. He unlocked that power just when he needed it and just happened to be exactly what he needed. That feels like what's happening here, you know? The fanboy complaining about how uh, convenient this uh, power-up is. Though, personally, I don't find it that surprising. When Rock was practicing his whole error bullet attack in the warehouse before, he showed that by focusing the power, by concentrating it more, he's able to he's able to improve its power, its durability, its distance, to the point where it becomes literally lethal. So it makes sense that by concentrating the energy on his feet, the force field that he makes with his feet when he's running, he's able to do the same, add an extra oomph to his power, make him go even faster. Also, I just now noticed this. But when O'Clock uh, punched the ground like that, his hand melted, disintegrated, was blown away. He only has one hand in this shot. And then literally in the next panel, it grows back. I knew he had hyperspeed generation, all no do, but that's just absolutely freaking terrifying. And seriously, how do you expect to be a hero when your limbs keep breaking and exploding on you? I mean, sure, they can regrow, but that's still, you know, going to be very disconcerting for the, you know, fans watching this. They're going to be disgusted by that. That's definitely going to, you know, decrease your popularity a little bit. Uh, Rock's next line is also pretty weird. I react too slow when he flips the script. I mean, isn't his quirk, you know, the ability to accelerate his mind? So how is it he's reacting too slow? Is it just, you know, he's already, you know, lo- is it just the fact that he's already, you know, launched off and he's moving in that direction so he can't adjust his speed when that happens, or... I mean, I am 100% sure that Kuyuchi is nowhere near as fast as Rock is right now. I mean, we saw him before, you know, when all the police surrounded him, he managed to, you know, basically walk circles around them, take their guns, disarm all of them, I think shoot a few of them as well, and then uh, escape before they even realized what was happening. There's no way Kuyuchi is faster than right now, so in a straight-on race, he would definitely lose. So I'm just a little unclear exactly uh, how he's not winning right here, how he hasn't already managed to catch up to him and kill him, more or less. Anyway, then things get bad? Good? I'm not sure, because Endeavor shows up, and... You know, on one hand, that's a good thing. Koyuchi could certainly use a backup, but on the other hand... What Endeavor's seeing right now is a villainous vigilante, the Crawler, uh, carrying the well-known terrorist pop as she's exploding everything around her. While a registered and licensed hero in a full hero costume is in pursuit trying to stop them. Yeah, this might be bad. It might end up being Endeavor teaming up with O'Clock 2, I hate that name so much, in order to stop Koyuchi and Pop. That would be bad. That would be very, very bad. Because, I mean, you know, I've been saying, and then Crawler, his growth, his progress, how much he's improved, is absolutely freaking amazing. I'm so proud of him for all he's managed to accomplish, and the author of the series making the uh, improvements feel natural, and well-deserved, and earned after all he's been through, but he has no shot at beating Endeavor. I mean, literally, no shot whatsoever. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll be able to, like, launch a full-strength air blast at Endeavor's head and knock him unconscious, and his flames won't be able to take it out because it's air. I, I I doubt it. This seems to be a very bad situation for the crawler to be in. But on the same but on the same side, this is a very bad situation for Rock to be in. Because I mean, in one hand, you know, if Endeavor takes out the prey before him, then he won't get you know the big debut as a hero that he's been working so hard for all this time. It's not like in you know fight Endeavor here, because then that would definitely get him painted as a villain, so what exactly is his plan here? And just as a callback, what exactly was his plan when Endeavor was doing the whole fire tornado? I mean, it definitely seemed like that was gonna kill Pop, and he wasn't making any moves to stop him, so very, very curious about that as well. And the second issue is the detective knows Rock. Remember, he shot him way, way back when. Sure, he didn't get a good look at his face, but he knows he's the one responsible for literally all this. The experiments, the quirk dancers, literally everything. And even had a talk with Aizawa after that about how he had the same quirk as O'Clock. And now here comes a guy dressed like O'Clock with a similar appearance 
to the man that shot him, to the villain behind all of this, using a quirk very similar to O'Clock's. Literally, if Detective even gets a sidelong glance at this guy, he'll be able to say, Endeavor, that's the villain over there! He's the one responsible for all of this! I mean, I don't see the detective right here, it doesn't even be near Endeavor, but if he just, you know, pulls up binoculars, manages to get a look, and then gets a hold of Endeavor on the comms or something, he can very easily tell him, Endeavor, that's the villain, stop him! So, yeah, I'm really not sure what to expect here, what's gonna happen. Is Endeavor gonna fight Koyuchi? Is Detective gonna warn Endeavor about O'Clock 2 being the real villain? Uh, what's gonna happen with Pop? Is she gonna, you know, keep exploding? Ugh, just a lot of questions. And don't forget, the crawler still needs to meet up with Soga and the gang with the van, which is apparently loaded with a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be super useful for them stopping Pop somehow, some way. Um, really not sure what's gonna be in that van. I'm not really sure how it's gonna be useful at this point. I guess there could be... I guess Knuckle Duster could have included stuff in there on how to, uh, extract the queen bee from the host, like he did with his daughter, so, I mean, that could be useful, uh, I mean, as well as, you know, the same recording that he used to stop, uh, Rock the first time they fought, I'm really not sure, that's my best guess, I mean, those two things would really turn the fight around here, but, we're still a freaking endeavor, and I have no idea which side he's gonna be on right now, so, yeah, very, very strange, very weird, and, I just really don't know what's gonna happen next chapter, I mean, Endeavor definitely seems like the kind who's going to go and all out try and kill Kuyuchi and Pop right away. And Detective is really the only hope right now for Endeavor to realize what's going on and realize who the true villain is here right now. But on the other hand, we could still have Rock come in and, you know, try and fight Endeavor because he's getting in his way. But then he can't really, you know, be called a hero, so he likely do that, but he's set up all this so that he could be a hero, so I don't think he's just let it go to waste. Try and convince Endeavor to team up with him, and Endeavor wouldn't do that. Uh, so many questions, but please, anything else down below. Be sure to like, subscribe to the next video, and until then, peace!